What's up? I'm Vin, and today I want to take a look at some circle geometry. So let's get started. So for this question here, we have a lot going on, but we could start off by labeling. We have the measure of angle COD is 60 degrees. So that's the central angle here. And then next we're told that the measure of angle AFB is 100 degrees. So over here, we're going to label this as 100 degrees. And we know a bunch of other stuff about this circle. Like we know this is a diameter. So then what we could do with this information is we could label this arc, this arc CD, as 60 degrees as well. And we could use the idea that half of a circle is 180 degrees, which means that this arc, DE, plus this arc, which was 60 degrees, has to add up to 180. So we could say 60 degrees plus the measure of arc DE is equal to 180 degrees because once again, these arcs intercept half of the circle. So if we just subtract 60 degrees, that tells us the measure of arc DE is 120 degrees. And that answers the first part of this question. Now for the rest of this, we want to find the measure of angle P, which is out here. And there's a few ways we could go forward with this. But one thing we could note here is they told us that we have the tangent line PD. And one thing we know about tangent lines is that when a tangent line meets a radius, they form a 90 degree angle. So we know that this angle here is going to be 90 degrees. So if this angle is 90 degrees and the central angle here was 60, look at this triangle that we have. We have triangle PDO. So, so far we have a 60 degree angle here, plus we have a 90 degree angle, plus the measure of angle P. The three of those angles have to add up to 180 since all triangles in two dimensions have 180 degrees of angle measure. So then we can just do a little subtraction here. This is going to make 150. And if we subtract 150 on both sides, that's going to cancel out. Once again, 60 plus 90 is 150. So these will cancel out like this. And the measure of angle P is going to be 30 degrees. So this angle in here is going to be 30 degrees. So that's the second part of this. And now we want to find the measure of angle ACE. So that's this angle over here. So there's a lot going on in this question. And there's a few ways we could go forward with this. The nicest way to go forward with this is we already found the measure of arc DE is 120 degrees, which means this central angle EOD is 120 degrees. And in geometry, we know that angles formed by intersecting lines make vertical angles which are congruent. So we could also say that this angle here is 120 degrees. So our goal is to find the measure of angle ACE, which is part of triangle AOC here. So I'm just going to rewrite the letter O. So we want to find the measure of angle ACE, which is really angle ACO. But notice here that this triangle is isosceles because from A to O is a radius, and from C to O is a radius. So that tells us that these two angles here are going to be congruent. And this angle is already 120 degrees. So I would have 120 degrees plus, and I could use a variable here. Let's say I call both of those x. So plus x plus x is going to be equal to 180 degrees. So this would give us 2x equals, and I'm going to subtract 120 to make 60. And this tells us our angle x would be 30 degrees. So let's write out our answer formally. The measure of angle ACE would be 30 degrees. Because once again, angle ACE is part of this isosceles triangle. And one of the angles here is 120. So the two angles left have to be equal. So ACE has to be 30 degrees. So that's this one. Now for the measure of arc AB, this one is a little bit tricky. So the measure of arc AB, what we have to consider is that we have these two intersecting chords. So this chord here intersecting chord BE. So this angle we were told is 100 degrees. And what that's going to allow us to do here is we could use the theorem, the measure of arc AB, that's the intercepted arc by this angle here, the 100 degree angle intercepts AB. But then this 100 degree angle on the other side, because it's a vertical angle, intercepts arc DE. And when we add those two arcs and divide by 2, that has to equal the common angle of 100. So now we already found that DE is 120. So we can multiply both sides by 2 to make 200 degrees. And we have the measure of arc AB plus the measure of arc DE was 120 is going to equal 200, which tells us the measure of arc AB 
is going to be equal to 80 degrees. So, so this is the fourth part of our answer. And now for the last part of our answer. There's a lot of stuff going on here. We want to find the measure of angle ACD. But this one, if we think about it really carefully, I know we've got a lot of writing on here. But what we have is AFOD is a diameter. So look, if we highlight this again. So AFOD is a diameter. And the angle ACD inscribes this arc, arc AED. But since this is a diameter, this arc is equal to 180 degrees. So the measure of angle ACD is equal to, since it's an inscribed angle, is equal to half the measure of the angle that it, of the arc that it intercepts. So if it intersects a 180 degree arc, we just divide that by two. And the measure of angle ACD, this inscribed angle, is going to work out to 90 degrees. So that's going to complete the last one.